So it, you know, started as just something that I did. Um, you know, my my dad had a fly rod in the garage. He he's never fly fished, um, but it was there. Um, tried it out. You know, liked it at, at first, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Um, you know, I you know a couple good friends of mine just kind of all got into it at the same time, um, and eventually it becomes all you can think about. Uh, consumes your thoughts consumes your sleep. I don't know if it's healthy to wake up at four in the morning, you know, five days a week in the summer, but you um, can't help it, it's, you know, it's, it's all that you want to do. Um, and you, every time you're not doing it, you feel like you should be. Fly fishing for me is something that I'm always thinking about. It's always upstairs. And I'm always craving catching that fish on the fly, whether it's a wild trout, salmon, a steelhead, or even say a bluegill or a bass. Any fish that takes a fly is something that I crave. Some may say that the tug is the drug, and I can truly attest to that. I'm addicted to fly fishing. And if I don't fish for a long period of time, I find myself going crazy. So for me, you know, every at every point in my life when I've had a passion, you know, something I'm really interested in, I, it's kind of developed into an obsession. Um, brown trout being no different. And ever since I started to kind of figure out how to catch them, um, you know, with consistency, it became, can I catch bigger ones? And, you know, once I caught like the first actual big brown trout from there, it's, it just kind of spun off, you know, how many, how many of these can I catch? And always looking for a bigger one. But where I'm from, brown trout is really, you know, like the main thing people fish for growing up is the only thing I ever really fished for. Never really got into bass fishing, warm water fishing. Um, you know, brown trout is really, you know, my focus has always been my focus with fishing. Um, there's something mysterious about them. They're a cool species, you know, they're, they're unpredictable, but at the same time, if you can kind of figure out their patterns, you can understand them a little bit, and that's, that's part of the fun for me, is, you know, trying to understand brown trout, understand, you know, what they're gonna do. All right, what are some other types of uh, fish species you target? I literally don't. Honestly, I, none. Um, you know, trying to get into steelhead a little bit up here in Michigan, but for me it's all brown trout and the days that I do have off, that I have time to go fishing, I have a hard time going looking for anything else, so brown trout all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a big fish, is like finding a hundred dollar bill on the sidewalk and then you come home later that day and you realize you fell out of your pocket. So I think what people don't realize is, you know, just the, the research that, that goes into it. Um, it's not just, you know, I'm going to get in my car, drive to the river and start fishing. There's a lot of stuff that goes into catching that big fish. Everything has to align for you to even be in the right area to catch that big fish or to even have that fish slightly consider your fly. Um, spent a lot of time looking at maps, um, you know, looking up stuff online, reading articles. Um, just doing as much research as you can. You can watch the hatches. You can see what kind of insects and larvas in the river. Try and match that with your flies. Or you can look at the smaller forage that these fish might be feeding on. The smaller fish, amphibians, and even sometimes rodents. But there's tons of different flies you can fish for trophy trout. And you can get pretty carried away with your flies and your gear. Um, to get you know to get the bigger picture, um, it's, I think I think it's what a lot of people miss is is they don't totally understand what their what their their quarry is you know what they're looking for. I, I think the biggest piece of advice that I could give would be you know understand your target, understand the fish that you're trying to catch. People get really caught up in oh I need this new 
rod or this, you know this fly I need I need to be using this fly and it's really not that I, I think it's more if you understand the fish um, you're gonna have a much better shot at actually catching that fish so part of it for me is trying to understand all the variables that go into catching these fish you know it's not it's not just when the fish will eat or where the fish is there's a lot of other things that we take into measure when you know pursuing these fish and that may be barometric pressure weather systems you know understanding different rivers different different rivers behave different ways different times of the year we talk about marginal water you know rivers systems that, that hold trout um, maybe not all year round often getting too warm in the summer um, where you know population densities are really low um, but that's that's a good way to find bigger fish I'm constantly thinking about the fish weather is something that plays a huge part in fly fishing the right weather to fish in the right water temperature, the right water clarity. So I'm always thinking about the weather and the fish and the ideal times to catch them, but I fish in some pretty crazy weather because you can't catch them if you're not fishing for them. In a lot of ways it's similar to, to hunting, you know, whitetail. Uh, guys looking for, for big bucks, you know, they, they study the patterns of those, of those animals. They, they track them and they spend a lot of time before actually hunting that animal in, in preparation. And I think you can take that same approach to fishing for big brown trout. Um, it's not, it's not an accident. It's not, it's not by chance. Um, you know, to be able to catch big brown trout consistently, um, there's there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that goes into that. A lot of times that you know that means you're willing to sacrifice numbers for size. Um, a lot of days, you know, not catching anything at all, or you know maybe you know moving a fish, locating a fish, going back at a different time to try to catch them. Um, you know, getting to know that fish individually, if it is a big fish, is always a lot of fun. So, you know, everyone has bad days, you know, it's not going to pan out the way you want every day. Um, and obviously I get frustrated, you know, I, I take this ser more seriously than most people probably, but um, you got to you gotta stay focused and you got to understand that, you know, it's not going to click every day. Um, and you just got to stay looking for the days that it does. Um, so, you know, I think... You gotta, you gotta take your wins with your losses, um, and eventually, you know, things do come together, and that right day does happen, and that fish is gonna eat, and you gotta be there. So I guess what keeps bringing me back is, you know, um, trying not to get complacent, never, never settling with, you know, where I'm at as an angler, um, never being happy with the progress I've made, you know, trying to push myself, trying to accomplish things I haven't before. Um, and I, I guess the way of doing that, always looking for bigger fish or catching fish in different ways, um, different rivers that, you know, I'm not familiar with. When everything comes together, when you catch a fish on that fly, you tie yourself. It's a truly extraordinary moment. When you hold that wild animal in your hands, even for a short moment before releasing it, it's special. It's something that'll stick with you. And I crave it. You never really know. Um, you know, you can try to figure out all the, the reasons, um, you know, all, all the ways to catch fish, all the reasons why a fish is going to eat, you know, all the all the variables that go into that equation. At the end of the day, it's a wild animal. And, you know, no one really knows what it's gonna do. No one really knows, you know, what's the biggest fish, um, where that fish lives. So I think that's, you know, what keeps everyone coming back. It's just that you never really have it all figured out.